Here is a large industrial fan, and I think this uh, looks like it's about a little more than three feet in diameter. The maker of the fan, let's see if I can see down here. You know, it's kind of hard to see it on the camera. I'll take a look at it again here. It's kind of hard to pronounce. I'll look at it and then I'll, I'll let you know. It's a Debothazat, or Debothazat, not sure how you pronounce it, Debothazat fan pack, uh, made in Moline, what is it here, made in, is that Moline, Illinois? It's kind of hard to get it to focus, let's see if it'll focus on it. Yeah, Deboth, Bo, Bothazat fan pack. And the motor is a Holzer and Cabot. Maybe we can get a look at the motor here. Holzer and Cabot. Division of First Industrial Corporation. Looks like it's about a quarter of a horsepower. I got this today and it was only ten dollars. I got a pretty good deal for such a, a big fan. And I'm eventually going to repair this wiring. They, they just kind of uh, hooked it up to the cloth covered wire coming from the motor coil. So I'm going to try and put some heat shrink tubing on that and get a cable clamp on there to help, uh, help reinforce the cable. I did put zoom spout in the motor and on the bearings. So let me get the extension cord plugged in and we can give it a try. The extension cord is ready, so I'll now I'll go ahead and plug it in. And it really puts out a good strong uh, stream of air. Very quiet too. That pulley may be a little lopsided. It seems to be running okay. And now I'll go ahead and turn it off. See if I can. Uh, unplug it here with one hand. Very high quality fan. I'm going to also try and redo this fan cage, make it a little bit nicer. I probably can put this over in the barn. <laughs> I'd like to take it in the house, but it's just it's just be no good no good place to put it because it's so big.